Welcome, everybody, here to Lido Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, alongside my broadcast partner, Richie Myrick, for the final ladder series of the inaugural season of Candlepins for Cancer. Now, we already have four bowls in the Tournament of Champions. Who is going to join them? Uh, Brian Purdy was the latest to join the Tournament of Champions. Uh, got a couple of young bowlers today. We have a couple of young bowlers today by the names of Charlie Collins and another uh, young bowler, no stranger to the show. You've seen him earlier this season, Josh Daly. Uh, let's get right to it, Jeremy, and yeah. welcome up our bowlers. Josh, Charlie, come on up. Well, I'll start it right off with uh, Charlie Collins. Charlie, uh, uh, newcomer to our show, a uh, fireballer, a nice young bowler, and uh, we're really looking forward to having you up on the, on the stage today. Uh, what are your thoughts going into this match against Josh? I'm just going to have fun. That's all, that's all I want. Good match with Josh, and that's all that matters. All right, keeping it simple, keeping it, uh, having fun, and that's a, a nice way to go into your first match. Jeremy? Like like Richie said, you've been on the show once already this year. Didn't go exactly the way you wanted it to go. Now, that being said, are you looking at this match a different way? Are you going to approach the match a different way? Uh, I think I'm just going to take it the same way a little bit, but still try my best as well and have a great match against Charlie. Yeah, I mean, you guys are good buddies, so, I mean, there's not going to be any pressure there. Oh, no, not at all. All right, let's get to the match. All right, Josh Daly leading off on lane 33. Second appearance on the show this season. Second appearance and likely m many more for this young uh, fireballer here. Oh, we're going to see a lot of him. Right on the head pin. Not a... Not an ideal way to start, but... Not the, not the way you wanted to start on the 1-3 like that. Beautiful first ball. Uh, right through the 5-pin. Me looking for these. One of these to, to check out. And the 9 box. Solid 9 box. Three object pins right in a row to start for Josh. Josh Daly from Danvers, Massachusetts. Right now averaging 120, has a high single of 185, high triple 478, high five 372, and a high 10 of 1244. Well, I'm going to have to stop you early there, Jeremy. A high five of 372 just seems a, a, a so, <laughs> touch low, especially with a ball like that. So my dyslexism uh, is a 732, not a 372. <laughs> So Josh will have the seven pin now as the wood funnels into the right channel. Nice and clean to look at. Sneaks by. Oh, right side. So he will be open through the opening two frames. Cleans up the 10. As we get our first look at Charlie Collins. Charlie's our number four seed. He qualified with a 652. The cut for this program was 649. And a thank you to Metro Bowl out of Peabody, Mass, for hosting us for the qualifier for this round. Our last round before the Tournament of Champions. The exact same first ball as we, we saw from Josh Daly. Or, or did he have... He had the uh, the five the five eight, eight. and ten, okay. so somewhat <laughs> a somewhat better lead, but still a again a tough way to start for the young man on his first attempt at his first match. And look at the nine box. Settles for nine. Charlie's from Waltham, Massachusetts. Has a current average of one sixteen, a high single of one ninety one, high triple of four twenty five. A high five of 652. Does not have a high 10 score. Yeah, just off the head pin. He's got some wood to help. Seems to be getting better all the time, Jeremy. He's got the 1, 7, 8, and 10. Now there's double wood. Almost a spread eagle ball would try to take the both back pins. 
Gives it a red. I don't think he wanted to hit it as full as he wanted to. Leafs a seven and the eight. And the nine box. The 18, 18 for two. An early one pin lead for Josh Daly. And after seeing each bowler go open, the first mark looms really large here. Mm -hmm. Put that early pressure on your opponent. Just off the head pin, a, a very makeable shot, especially for the kind of ball that he throws. Just try to lay it in the one, two, see what happens here. A uh, little full. He's the four, the seven, and the 10. And an eight box, 27 for three. So Charlie moves, uh, Daly moves over to lane 34. Just off the head pin again, leaves the four horsemen on the left side. Looking for our first mark of the match. God. Yeah, right through the head pin. Second ball's been full for him. And another eight box. And third one as well, just an eight, and that'll put Josh at 35, bringing up Charlie Collins with the door wide open here early on in the first match. Off the head pin, and, and we get the first strike. mark of the match. That's a strike anywhere. Nice and smooth, one two pocket. Nine pin last to fall. Uh, Ten pins in the pit. This is not uh, Charlie's first time under the lights. Yeah, he does have a four appearances on Candle Pin New Generation. On the head pin again, a little light. A little light, but a, a, a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel here with the two, seven, nine, and ten. Yeah, I feel feel like if you either full or a little bit left of that that two pin. That's where he's going. And oh, what a shot! It. Strike on spare. Beautiful box. Putting the pressure on Daly early. Spare on strike. Once again, lays it nice and smooth into that two pin, just like you said, Jeremy. Right in the face, makes it go like one. Puts him at 48 and a ball and a 13 pin and a ball advantage here early on in the first string. Yeah, Daly, 22 years old, bowl, currently bowls in four different leagues. Come on, come on. Go ahead. Daly responds with a nice head pin shot. Got the four, the seven, nice piece of wood out front. And he makes it. It's a nice answer from Daly. Uh, his home lanes right now, CPL in East Boston. Well, when you're bowling over at CPL, when you're bowling four nights a week at 22 years old, that'll put you into some good habits going forward. Absolutely. I've always said bowling in a tougher house makes you a better bowler. Big ball here again, he's chasing 13 pins. Right on it, uh, almost comes back with a spare strike of his own. Got a nice nine drop, just gotta throw the same ball right here. And he and sure he does. Buries the five pin for the spare, so he comes back with two of his own. About as good an answer as you could ask for.
puts the pressure now back on Collins. Charlie with our first attempt at bonus money here. Just off the head pin, but it's a working ball. He's going to have a chance at it. The one, two, and seven, really just a two pinner to hit now. For 25 additional dollars. He's bit got it. A, bit of a bouncer, but makes it nonetheless. Three in a row, $25 in bonus money. Follow the bouncing ball. And now five straight marks for our bowlers. Charlie back on the front one. Ah. <laughs> Another nine drop. Just had to wait a moment there, Jer. It looked like the three was going to stand. Then that's that fell, and then the six looked like it was going to stand. Now he has the seven pin by itself. Uh, and he misses to the right. Although the, the initial shot we thought he was going to have actually looked like it was going to be a pretty, pretty makeable shot with a piece of wood. And the nine ball. I guess so we'll wonder. And that'll bring us through six. So we will pause now, and uh, we'll be back with the conclusion of the first string. Josh Daly coming up on lane 33, working on a mark. He is 64 plus a fill right now. On the head pin. Leaves the triangle on the left side. There's a piece of wood rolling over. Let's see what that piece of wood decides to do. It does flatten out for him. That's a, a real nice piece of room service there. Yeah. See if you can drive it all the way back. Nicely and done. Josh Daly for three in a row and $25 in bonus money. And again, a timely mark as he was down 19 going in. Now it's just 12. I just want to take a second to thank Lexi and Matt, everyone here at Lena Lanes, for allowing us to do the show. Uh, they've been more than hospitable for us. They have 36 lanes, a candle pin bowling, pool tables, arcade games, great food at Kegler's Den. I couldn't recommend a better spot in the Nashua area. And, and don't forget, Jerry, right next door they have Lita's Lighthouse with 12 more lanes of glow bowling and plenty of parking here. Visit and them daily, today. Daily with a hammer. Daily's so quick Four we can't even get the promo in. You can visit Lita's, <laughs> you can visit, visit Lita Lanes or Lita's Lighthouse here at 340 Amherst Street, Nashville, New Hampshire, or online at LitaLanes.com. And that's $50 in bonus money, and we're just getting going here early on in the first string. Let's see how Charlie responds here. Yeah. He's on the head pin. Whoa, the 1-3, and it almost was just the 1-3. Look at this leave. <laughs> that's the that's the two eight nine. We got Alfie laughing over there. I don't think he's ever <laughs> ever seen it quite like that. And he's gonna make it too, isn't he? He is. Of course he is. A shot like that, of course you have to make it. So Charlie's the, back on track with a spare. Yep. Boy, the game can be a real carnival sometimes. Is it ninety three plus his fill? Both bowlers really coming for it here early on. Huge ball here for Charlie Collins. On the head pin again, leaves the five and the eight. Uh, and he punches right through the five. That is one of the most frustrating things ever. Oh, it as sure somebody, is. As somebody who does that constantly. <laughs> and a nine box. So he's sitting at 110 after eight boxes. Josh at 101, but he's got two balls for a fill here. So a good fill here, and we def uh, have about an even match. And it feels like an even match. Yeah. It does. On 
on the strike. Looking for the double. Oh, we got the eight pin. There's a, two pieces of wood out front. Could make it a little bit tricky if they end up touching, but we'll see what he elects to do here. He's going to go right at it. Yep. And he drives it back. Nicely done. $75 in bonus money. All this bonus money, but he only has a one pin lead. Looking to see if he can run the table all the way out. On the head pin again, leaves the triangle. Got the five, the eight, and the nine. Not as easy of a shot as it looks. No, especially those deep triangles, I think. Oh. You can give me the two, four, five, or the three, five, six over one of those back ones anytime. Right now at 130. But that's all. It's just awesome bowling from Josh Daly. 138. Charlie looking to come back with a mark of his own. Just off the head pin. Got the one, the two, the four, and the nine. Just off, leaves the head pin. Clean up for a 10. 120 through 9 frames. Let's be looking for the mark here to try and catch Josh Daly. I but try to stay at par with Josh here with a decent mark. Off the head pin again, but this time gets the nine pin to trip. He did get the troublemaker out of there, Jerry. He's got the one, two, and four. Wow. Through the head pin again. Right now at 128. And that's where he'll finish, 128 to 138. Uh, Daly with an early 10 pin lead. But going by the way the two of them are bowled, this match is far from over. As we've quickly seen, you can get 10 back in a hurry. Uh, both bowlers have thrown 20 up in one box. So looking forward to these next two strings. Yeah. Charlie Collins starting off game two on lane 33. I'll tell you, this ladder has a little bit of everything. Everything from we have our young up-and-coming bowlers like Charlie, Josh. I mean, Josh has been around for a couple of years now. Uh, we have veterans like Wayne Springfield, Jonathan Boudreau, and then arguably one of the best to ever lace up a pair of bowling shoes. Oh, who, who is that? Oh, oh, is that right? Oh, our two seed, Craig Holbrook. I think that's who you're talking about. Yeah. Boy, yeah, uh, yeah you're right. We do have a little uh, bit of everything in this this ladder. I'm looking forward to the whole the whole enchilada here. Starting with these two young guns. And I mean, talking about you know, Josh Daly, who is 22 years old, but I mean, the list of accomplishments that he's had just in the last year and a half or so. A nice 10 there for Charlie Collins. And just in this house alone for Josh, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna like, get into that a little bit, I mean, the 2021 Invitationals, I believe, we call him a Triple Crown winner? I believe that's correct. The high average, uh, won the singles tournament, and won the teams tournament. Yes, he did. Charlie on the head pin. Leaves the eight, couple pieces of wood. Hopefully, see if that front piece is gonna stop, or is it gonna be a roadblock? Let's see, and if, he, if it is a roadblock, does he decide to go buy it? Thank you. 
I would personally try to go buy this. Oh, or you could it. just do that and make the shot. Well, the cap's about the size of a half dollar, and uh, if you can hit a half dollar from 60 feet, you could be a pretty good candlepin bowler. Oh, I can do that a lot, just when I'm not aiming for it. <laughs> Timely mark for Collins, nonetheless, to get our second string started here. And that'll bring up Daly. Oh. Nearly trips the five pin from the one two pocket. Beautiful ball from Josh. And he's on it. Starts the string off for the mark. So we ask our bowlers what they do for work or hobbies. So uh, Josh tells us that he works in a warehouse that deals with semiconductors. Semiconductors. But I believe he is part of the official employer of Can Up and Bowling and works for Rochester Electronics. Oh, okay. So semiconductors. So, okay. Shout out to Freshy. <laughs> Shout out to Godwin. Shout out to Cheech. Shout out to Surratt. Do I work for Rochester? I don't even remember anymore. If you don't, you will soon. <laughs> Another beautiful ball from Josh Daly leaves the seven and the eight. Just want to split those two pins right there. And he makes it. Two for two to start. He's not taking the foot off the gas. Charlie working on his mark. Just off the head pin, leaves the one, the eight, and the nine. He decides to play it. Leaves the one and the eight to clean up. Uh, as we mentioned in the the, the pre-match interview, Josh and Charlie are, are pretty good friends. Uh, they actually have a scratch a scratch doubles championship down in Yarmouth. Oh, really? Down in Yarmouth? Okay. I, I believe that was a tournament that uh, I think Matt Nichols put together. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Matt Nichols, we have the uh, a new uh, new tour coming out. Or that has already started, actually. We do. We have the uh, Amateur Candlepin Tour, and that's uh, something that Matt's been putting together along with uh, Danny and Kate Finn. Uh, new this summer, the uh, Amateur Candlepin Tour is a 90% handicap tournament series for bowlers of all skill levels. Each monthly tournament has a unique format, and you can email amateurcandlepintour at gmail.com or visit their Facebook page at Am Amateur Candlepin Tour for more details. Something to look forward to. They've had a couple of really good turnouts uh, for a, their fledgling tour. And um, it's really nice to see some new faces and, and bowling at some new places as well. Uh, absolutely. Charlie with the 10 box. He's at 46 after four boxes. Daly is working on a mark. in search for another $25 in bonus money, and he's going to have to work really hard for it. The 159. First time we've seen some variation of the spread eagle. Now he's got a mess to clean up here. Just three on the mark. And do you go for the three or the four here, Jeremy? I'm going for the three, honestly. goes for the four and he gets four and a half. Okay. Well, my thought process there was, you know, if I go for the three, hopefully I'm going to catch that back pin, you know, sending that three pin over. Uh, I generally agree with that. Very difficult to take your medicine, though, after you hit the head pin on a fill like that. And yeah. When you aren't off by much on the second ball, it's, it's a tough third shot. Let's see how he rebounds here. Off the head pin, but... I 
Gets a break, favorable, favorable leave, just a two bitter. A good mix of ball, he's got the one and the two. Pretty straightforward. And he goes right through the head pit. Well, we've seen both of our bowlers uh, very full on the second ball on occasion. Both have cherry picked, if you will, on uh, on a two pinner. A tough two boxes. Still has the lead in the match, or in the string in the match. Still just eleven pins now. Charlie up on lane 33. Uh, Charlie has cited that his favorite bowling memory is memory is throwing a 191 game to follow it up with a 91. Well, it's funny how that works every once it's in a while. It's amazing how it? that works. <laughs> Boy, just snuck by on the outside there. Right idea if he was trying to make the shot. You know, you, you throw that big game and then you're you're high and you feel like you can't miss and it just goes the complete opposite direction. A tough six box for Charlie here. 52 at the half. Well, halfway through the match and he's coming off a six. This is a, a big bounce back box here for Charlie Collins. Still plenty of time, see if he can lay it right back in that pocket like he has been. Right on the head pin. Oh, well, that ball was punished and he's got the six pin by itself now. Piece of wood, but nothing but something to look at. Well, see the pin, shoot the pin. Sure and he does. does. Boy, is that right on time. A lot of grit. Coming off a difficult box like that. Knowing you're chasing a few pins, that's a really big box from Charlie Collins. That's why this game you have, you have to have a short-term memory. One box at a time. Josh on the head pin with a big strike. She gone. Josh looking to double it up here. Josh also no stranger to uh, TV shows on New England Candle Pins and has the show record of 173. And a great first ball. Nearly a double, leaves just the two pin. And he All makes it. it. A great way to come back, strike spare. And after six frames we have Josh Daly at 77 plus a fill, Charlie Collins at 62 plus a fill, and we'll be right back with the conclusion of string number two. Come on guys, let's go! Charlie stepping up for his fill in the sixth box on lane 33. the head pin. Not the fill he was looking for, obviously. Got a two fill. Gives it a go. And an eight box. That'll give Charlie 72 through seven. It's 
just a hair off the head pin. He's getting a little bit of a break here. Uh, so this is only, this is Charlie's only his second year in the, uh, in the pros. Balls out of Wolverine Bowl. Uh, makes a great bid. He's done quite a bit for uh, just being uh, a couple years on the tour. Absolutely has turned some heads. And he's not done in this match either. He's at 81 through eight. Josh looking to add to his bonus money. Well, while we pause for some more cleanup on the ball return between 33 and 34, why don't, we, uh, why don't you tell everyone about what Candlepins for Cancer is all about? I will, Jer. It's uh, Candlepins for Cancer and Candlepin Bowling. This program is proudly presented by Candlepins for Cancer and Al Johnson in particular. And the charity that we have here supports bowlers and their family members who are fighting cancer with money and to help pay for treatment and bills. Uh, since our inception, the charity has given away over $12,000 to those in need. Uh, you can make a donation electronically through candlepinsforcancer.com or you can send a check to 467 High Street, number 8, Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. That's 467 High Street, number 8, Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. Or candlepinsforcancer.com. Josh with the nine bucks, 93 for seven. Yeah, I mean, th this show doesn't happen without uh, Alfie's work and I can only see this getting getting bigger. All of this is within our Candlepin community too. It's within our own families mm -hmm. and, and people that our friends and families have, have dealt with cancer and um, all of it stays within ourselves and, and uh, we pride ourselves on that. And we're really happy to bring you this program and, and uh, we hope that you we encourage you to donate to the charity. Again that's Candlepins for Cancer 4 the number four, candlepins4cancer.com. Josh with a tough leave here. Oh, he sends the pin over. Wow, just in front of the 10. And the nine bucks, 102 after eight frames. 21 pin lead in the string, 31 pin lead in the match. Charlie looking to alleviate some of that pressure. Hopefully you get a mark here. Yeah, see if you can go one out of two here. Maybe you can cut it into the 20s. Give yourself a decent chance going into the third string. Nothing's out of the realm of possibility yet. Oh, and wait a second, let's see if the 10 goes. No, but that's not the worst leave. It's got some help. And I think you just want to play the head pin here. See if you can spray everything back there. Clip the cap on the way by. Didn't miss by much. an eight box for 89 through nine frames. It's gonna need a mark for 100. On the head pin. Not the best result. You have the two, the four, the seven, that and the ten. That's a good convincing ball. So good that the ball doesn't want to come back. Charlie's got a few nicknames. Uh, apparently, uh, Charles, 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 Charles. Yeah, I think you got to say it like you know, like the River Charles. Ah, uh, Charles. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably not even doing that. I'm from Western <laughs> Mass. What am I doing the Boston accent for? Uh, most recently, he is called Terminator, coined by Paul Grant. And, 
And a nine box. Tough string for nice. Tough string for Charlie, ninety-eight. We'll, we'll see what Josh does here. He's got an opportunity to put a stranglehold on this one. Yeah, if you're, if you're Josh, you, you don't want to let off the gas because you know, you know Charlie could put three, four, five marks in a row and be right back in the match to start the next string. He's off the head pin. There's the one, the seven, the ten, behind the one. I mean, it's it's yeah. behind, but it might be covered on the one. I don't think it changes the shot much, Jeremy. I think he's got to play it just like it isn't there in the first place. I agree. Makes a good bid. Leaves a seven and the ten. Go for the easy nine box here. It's about 111 through nine. 32 pin advantage, and he's opposite the nine box from Charlie Collins. So a good mark here could put him over 40. Goes right through the middle, leaves the four, the six, the seven, and the 10. Piece of wood in front of the six and the ten. It's a little, it's a little bit out, not touching the pins. I think cap might might be the only play, but at this point you just take the two and take the yeah. other two. I, I think that's probably what he was I, trying to do there. Yeah, I think we're just just get your pins, clean clean up the deck. Take the 121. Oh, that might have done it. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> true. In hindsight, uh, but that's a 121 for Josh. You know, uh, after, yeah, after two strings, it's 259. Josh Daly, Charlie Collins, 226. 33 pin lead. And uh, we will be back with the uh, third string. Wow! Come on, let's go. Work, work. Josh Daly beginning our third string on lane 33. Danvers, Massachusetts. List his favorite bowlers of all time, Craig Holbrook, Tom Olsta, Dave Godwin, Jeff Surrett. That's a pretty good list. That is a good list. Oh, he gets gets the working ball up the ladder, leaves the the ten pin. Catches the break there. And he starts the string off right with a spare. It's not a break until you make it. Nice and true, right on the red stripe. Take no chances. for the fill with the half Worcester. And he makes it. Well, that's one way to do it. Now, when you shoot that shot, do you, do you play that on the inside? Do you like to shoot that on the outside? Boy, Jeremy, at this point, I'm lucky to tr try to stay away from the hole. Um, I, I generally like the head pin in a vacuum, I think outside, but when you throw the ball as hard as Josh does, it doesn't much matter as he just made that inside like it went like nothing, you know. Charlie starts off the string, takes out the six pin. Just misses the object. He's going to have some cleaning up to do here. And probably not the way he wanted to start the string. Tough five box. See how he comes back. Uh, 
Hawks having trouble on that first ball, finding the head pin. Oh, but wait a second. And sometimes a break like this is all you need. Uh, there's, still, there's still time yet here. You just make this one and forget about everything else. There really is still time yet. And he makes it. Match isn't over. You fade a fill here, you fade a fill there, you fill one of yourself. Next thing you know, you got it back under 30. Anything under 30, you can make it back in one box, theoretically. Daly looking to add to his bonus money. Off the head pin, leaves the four horsemen on the right side, four and the seven for a four fill. So gonna get at least nine here. And he gets the 10. Good 10. We asked Josh what his favorite bowling memory would be, and we mentioned it earlier. Uh, basically winning the U.S. National uh, Singles, throwing a 478 in the semifinals of the Nationals. He, he good of a, better of a time to do it than there. That was one of the best displays of bowling I've ever seen. I had a front row uh, seat to that one, um, unfortunately. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, what a shot. the shot. He lists his uh, high single as 185, and I know for a fact he threw two 180s in that match because I'm pretty sure he had a 111 stacked in between the uh, the two 180s. So when you get that hot for that long, it's incredible. Yeah, there's no and there's no feeling like it because your body knows that you're not going to do anything wrong. You're not going to miss. It just knows what to do. You know, I think the problem was is that we all knew too, you know, so we <laughs> there was nothing we could do to get out of his way. Just incredible bowling. Charlie Collins now with a huge fill here. Chance to get back in the match with a good fill. Finds the head pin. Leaves the eagle minus, minus the seven pin. Goes for the three side. Ah, and there's a tough seven box there, so we'll go spare five, seven box, 27 after three. Opposite, opposite Daly's mark. Opposite the mark and down 42 now. He's really got to go. At this point, you got to start with one and, and see what happens. And that's going to be a strange one. He just took out the 256, which is uh, something different. I was currently going to school at Framingham State. Oh, and he makes a good bid, and it leaves, leaves the four. How do you leave the four out of all that? I just got a girlfriend, Kim. Apparently his favorite fruits are asparagus and Brussels sprouts. Ah, vegetable man. And the nine box, 36 through four. Josh is coming up. Looking to improve the fills on this string. Uh, that's an improvement. Uh, and Is it going to be it 10? Yeah, it's going to be 9. He's got to be careful with this one, though. He's got that piece of wood out right in front. 
that's hanging over the gutter. Either go buy it or drive it. He's going to try to drive it, and yeah. that's a, boy, tough ask. Anytime you have a piece of wood there right next to the sidewall, you never know what's going to happen with it. Yeah, anytime it's hanging on the gutter like that, if you have any kind of uh, angle one way or the other, back, forth, up, or down, it's a real crapshoot. Either way, he's happy with the 9, he's happy with the 10. At this point, he's just really trying to run Charlie out of boxes. Yeah, pinning, pinning is the biggest key right here. On the front one again, another nine drop. This time has a clean shot at it. And he goes right by it on the right side. And a nine box, 74 through six frames. See what Charlie can come up with here. It could be worse off to the right. He's got the one, two, and eight. He's got that piece of wood behind the one and the two. Yeah, I don't know if it helps it too much, though. I don't think it does. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, nudges it off the spot. Not hard enough. And a 10 box for Charlie, 46 through five boxes. Finds the front one. Leaves the eight pin with, I mean, he's got a lumber yard. I'm, I'm pretty sure he has almost the entire rack on the pin plate right now. I'm counting six pieces up there at least. Which one will he choose? Are you kidding? Wow. Well then. That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't help your spirits when something like that happens. Goodness me, Jeremy. Well, that's, a, that's a 10. That'll put him at 56 through 6. And what appears to be a technicality at this point. Yeah, D Daly is, is in the driver's seat. He's got a 51 pin lead on the match. I mean, at this point, uh, Charlie's going to just start throwing strikes. The third string is brought to you without any commercials by Alley Chat. Please subscribe to Alley Chat. Besides these great episodes of Candlepin Bowling presented by Candlepins for Cancer, you can also watch vintage matches all the way back to the 1970s. Subscribe to our Facebook page or for, for live Friday Night Pro League matches and much more. Subscribe to Alley Chat on Facebook. Thank you. Josh with a great shot right there. On the head pin again, gets the, is that the two pin to trip? I think it was the four pin, but either way, it was a very fortunate break to have it come forward. It looked like a three and one at the moment. Now it's just a regular three pinner, the three, six, and 10. Just by to the right. And he gets the 10 box, so 101 through eight boxes. 
Now let's see if Charlie can get something going coming home here. See if he can't put together a little bonus money. Uh, looks like he held on to that one a little hair too long. Got the four horsemen plus the five and the nine. We get the wood in the back covering the five and the nine makes the shot somewhat easier. And he leaves the one five. Which is much easier with a full rack. Oh boy, if you got that right. Eight box for Charlie. Worcester. And he gives it a ride. Leaves the six and the ten. Good offer at it. You know, for a young bowler, Charlie, he's only 21 years old. Shows a lot of poise up there, very calm. I agree, he has a very bright future ahead of him for sure. And like, and like we've uh, alluded to earlier in the show, he's already done a lot for the first couple of years while he's uh, been hanging on the tour. So looking forward to some more uh, big things from Charlie Collins. Head pitch shot for Josh. Leaves the six and the seven. Got a little space. I wonder if he's going to try to get cute and play the cap on the right. Let's see what he tries to do here. Looking to clean this up for 10. It'll be a nine box. It's one ten through nine boxes. So this is a really important box, Jeremy. You, you, you want to have three good balls here regardless going into your next match. Try to keep yourself in a positive mindset. Yes, I agree. You don't want to go sitting down for a little bit on a seven and have to worry about that going into your next match. Wow, and he gets the trip. The seven pin double piece of wood up front. <laughs> Almost kicked back <laughs> off the know. wall. <laughs> Asked a question there. Want to be sure of that pin? Yep. Guess the tail. Nice job. Just for your own mental, you know, just for your own mentality there. It's nice to end on a positive note on a on a good ball that you put right where you want to. Yeah. A it's one, a nice job. A 120 string for Josh Daly. A 379 total. Got some stout some, bowling. Some good bowling right there. Charlie on the head pin. Well, let's see if it sticks around. It will. Okay. That uh, doesn't want to stay, though. No, it doesn't. And it flattens out a little bit. Made a tough shot more difficult. Going right tip. It's the oh, right he makes shot. a shot. Beautiful shot. Great shot for Charlie. Still got a shot at bonus money coming home. Yep. Only place that goes there, right on the right tip. Send it right off the wall. Head pin shot. Have to make another TV shot, if you will. He's got the three, seven, and ten. And he'll have a have some cleanup work to do. And it'll be a seven box for another 98 string. 
324 for the series. A 55 pin win for, for Josh Daly, 379 to 324. 55 pin win, but halfway through the match, it was just about still, uh, just about still even. So uh, again, two really good young bowlers, and uh, we look forward to seeing more from Charlie Collins going forward. And we'll look forward to seeing Josh Daly in the next match against Wayne Springfield. That's gonna be a good one. Well, after match one, uh, Josh Daly came right out with a bang, winning his match 379 to 324 over Charlie Collins. Uh, started out with some fireworks, well, 138 to 128, the first string. Um, but Josh never left, uh, took his foot off the gas. Uh, no, he, uh, he really didn't. And both of our bowlers uh, in the first game, first game and a half, it was really a tight match coming forward. Uh, let's bring up our runner-up, Charlie Collins. Charlie, the Terminator, you gotta like that. Uh, we appreciate you uh, being on the show. Your first time, uh, you showed a lot of poise. Uh, started off really nice. Uh, we appreciate you being on. Uh, what were your thoughts uh, uh, coming onto the show today? Well, for starters, I wasn't even gonna do it. Um, my teammates, you know, Josh, Frank, Nick, Aaron, Cheech, they all encouraged me to do it. Even Paul, they were yelling at me, you know, to go do tournaments because I'm in college still. So they were encouraging me to do the tournaments. And I didn't even want to because we had we had uh, another match on Sunday, so it was like three days in a row, and I was going to be like really tired. So I was like, you know, why not? And uh, so I had a lot of fun, though. So, Well, like you said, that was your mission statement going forward, uh, going, coming into the match. You wanted to have fun. So uh, you're surrounded by a good group of dudes, as you just mentioned, that, uh, that have, your, uh, have your back. And what we have for you is uh, two, uh, $200, a check for $200 for fifth place, and another $25 uh, for your three marks in uh, bonus money. Thank you so awesome. much for Thank joining the show. Me. Thank you for having me. Josh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, you bowled really, really well. It came right out of the gate. You, you finished the first string with, I believe, five marks on the end. And um, you, know, you did a really good job when you, know, you have a couple tough couple boxes. You came back with you know, big marks, and you, and you never took your foot off the gas. No, that's never a plan. Always got to keep your foot on the gas if you want to win. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't give somebody like Charlie an, uh, an open door or anything like that. So uh, you did a good job there. You have $150 in bonus money. Uh, you won the first $25 for winning each string, and then $75 in, yeah, three marks in a row a couple times. And, uh, yeah, and next week you got Wayne Springfield. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Wayne's a great bowl. I can't wait. Yeah, as we all are. And until next week. <laughs>